Every believer has a voice, and it's the voice of victory. My God has made a way for me. Who's in the house today? And his name is Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to God forevermore. The healer is in the house today. Thank you, Jesus, for being here. Thank you for sowing your life into us. And we praise you and thank you that you are still giving your life for us because you ever make intercession for us. You didn't leave. You're still here. And you're coming for us very, very, very soon. But in the meantime, sir, because of you, we will live in good health. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. You know, you don't have to be sick to die. You don't have to be sick to die. And I quote Gloria Copeland, if you do what's right in the natural, and you do what's right in the supernatural, you can live in divine health. <laughs> Glory to God. Yes, amen. Praise God. You can be seated this morning. Isn't Jesus wonderful? Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hold your Bible up and say this with boldness. This is my Bible. This is God speaking to me. I have what it says I have. And I can do what it says I can do. And it says by his stripes I was healed. If I was healed, then I am healed. And I thank my God, especially Jesus, who bought my healing and put this covenant in my hand. Now thank him for it. Hallelujah. Thank him for it. Just thank him and praise him for it. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? I've, I first learned that many, many years ago from John Osteen. Now, for those of you that haven't been around all that long, that's Joel Osteen's dad. <laughs> Amen. And John and Dodie Osteen, very, very, very dear friends of glory of mine. And I'm not through praising yet. Let's just praise and worship. The glory comes. I heard Brother Hagin say, and, and, I, and, and I, know, I, know, I know the truth of it. He said, if you praise long enough, the spirit of worship will come. And when the spirit of worship comes, then the glory falls. And we've been in a wonderful place since Thursday night. And in here today, I sense it very strongly. You know, there's a, there, there's, there's a residue in this building because this, this building has experienced many, many wonderful things. And, and it, such honor is given to the presence of God here. Amen. That it, 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 th this is a tabernacle of praise. This is, this is, in every sense of the word, a, a cathedral of worship. And I'm honored to just stand in, in, on this platform and stand behind this desk. Praise God. And Father, we thank you and we worship you this morning. We worship and praise. Praise and worship you in the name of Jesus. Now, <clears throat> let's turn to the book of Proverbs and uh, the third chapter, Proverbs chapter three, and um, 
I'm, I'm going to just, um, let, let me tell you what you do. Let me, let me read this to you. I want to read it from the classic Amplified. My son, that means daughters too. Forget not my law or teaching. Now it's not just the law, but it's the teaching. Forget not my law or teaching. Let your heart keep my commandments. Let your heart keep my commandments. It's one thing to keep the commandments just because you've been commanded to do it. No, that's being obedient, but not willing. Remember what we read earlier? If you're willing and obedient, if you're, if you're not just obedient, but willing and obedient, you eat the good of the land. Well, I mean, you know, that means you're going to drive the good and wear the good and and live in the good because God is so good. (laughs) Hallelujah. Amen. But listen to this. For, in fact, I'm going to read this. You quote it back to me. For length of days days. and years of a life life. worth living. living. Tranquility inward and outward, continuing through old age till death, these shall they add to you. This will add years of a life worth living. Not years just getting old, finally wind up in a bed somewhere and I don't know what else to do, and, you know, slobbering around for two or three years and die. No, 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 no. A life worth living. A life worth living. That's a blessed life. That's a healed life. A life worth living. Now, wait a minute. This came out of your Bible. This is God speaking to you. Huh? And he's saying, hey, I've done this for you. Now accept it. Receive it. A life worth living all the way through till old age. It'll add that that kind of years to your life. Praise God. Thank him for it now. Now you're here. In the third chapter, let's go over to the fourth chapter of Proverbs. And we're going to take our medicine today. Proverbs chapter four, my son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let me bring this up in the iPad also. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them, my sayings, my words, not depart from your eyes. This is the reason it is so important to spend time every day putting your eyes on this word. Every day. Every day, glory to God. So, incline, incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them, my word, my sayings, not depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life. What life? A life worth living. Long life to old age. A life worth living. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Unto those that find them. What is that? When you find those words that's when they begin to speak to you. 
Amen. That, isn't that what we said in the beginning? This is my Bible. This is God speaking to me. I, I have what it says I have and, and I can do what it says I can do. Now, in the book of Hebrews, there's, there's a very wonderful thing there that the Word of God is discerner of thought and intent of the heart. Neither is there anything hidden from Him. What? The Word of God, Him. The Word of God, Him. You could say, the Word of God, He. Of course. How do we back that out? In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. And not anything created that was one created by Him or by the Word. And God is love. And God is good. So love created everything good. <laughs> hey, come on. This is, this is, that's, what, that's what this Bible is. And it's written in the form of covenants. God's sworn oath. That's the reason He's always in healing school. And that's the reason we've never had healing school since Gloria started it in 1979. There's never been a healing school where nobody got healed. Thank you, Jesus. And one of the reasons why, one of the reasons that Jerry Savelle suffered a massive stroke and they said he would never be the same again. Well, we went down and prayed for him and stood over him and, uh, and, and prayed, praise God, and stood on the Word of God. And it wasn't but just a few days later. How many days, Jerry? About three days, about three days after that. I mean, I mean, he's doing this. You know, all, all, all of it, the whole thing. Couldn't remember anything. All of that, every bit of it. And walked, he, he kept pointing to his granddaughter that he, want, he wanted to go out. What started as, as his garage, and uh, I'm, I'm not talking about a place to put your car, but it, it was a garage. He's a paint and body guy. And so, and he, you know, he likes a, a shop, a garage, and, and, it, and, it, it, and it, it turned into a museum. I'm telling you, you can get the joy of the Lord in there real easy. But now the, here's the big thing. He, he got out there and the, his granddaughter had to open the door, unlock it, the key. And he looked at all the motorcycles and he looked at the cars in the museum and came through his heart and mine to start everything in here. Now there's some of it, he has some things in there I couldn't start this morning in good shape. He's got a 1945 military Harley. That thing, I mean, there's more twists and turns and <laughs> to, to start that machine. It's in pristine condition. But he went through all of this without the use of one hand and one leg and started everything in there and started over to the, now Jerry's left-handed. And this was the hand that was dragging, wasn't it? You left. So he walked over there and he turned around to his granddaughter, said, give me the key and unlock the door. She said, you see what you just did? What? You unlocked the door. He said, well, so what's the big deal about that? Walked out just like I walked out right then. Shut all those machines down walked out there and they said he'd never preach again. <laughs> uh -uh. Mr. Never Preach Again is sitting around over there. The healer was in the house. 
But this man had found these healing scriptures. He spent his life preaching them. He spent his life teaching them and ministering to other people. Glory to God. I said, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He found these scriptures. They were on the inside of him when his brain couldn't get a hold of them. But those scriptures kept coming up and feeding his mind and feeding his brain. And he just walked out of that stroke. That's what it means. He found those scriptures and they were health to his flesh. Now notice health to all their flesh. I have a footnote in my King James reference, Hebrew, that word translated health in Hebrew is medicine. This is your medicine. This is your medicine. And I quote Gloria. That's the prescription. That's the prescription. And you can't, uh, you can't overdose on it. And the side effects are absolutely marvelous. Take it three times a day. If you need more, double the dose. Double up on your Bible reading. Double up on your listening to CDs. You ought to be listening to somebody preach to you all the time. Particularly if you drive to work, glory to God. And some of these so-called modern cars don't have a CD player. Well, you've got a phone. Load that phone. Plug that thing in. Turn off the goofy news and daily radio. (laughs) And let somebody minister to you live and begin to build up on days with a life worth living, healed and well. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So all of these scriptures this morning. Those of you watching and listening, all of these scriptures, get your Bible. Don't sit there and just look at us. Get, get your Bible. Amen. Well, I don't have one, Brother Cole. Believe God. We, we were in a, in, a, in a healing school out here on the West Coast. <clears throat> Billy Rash was the one that took the testimony, Jerry. There was a woman <clears throat> that had come to the convention She was a military wife and they got pregnant and he got killed. And uh, she didn't want to come up and testify. She, She had never done anything like this before. So Billy just read her, her testimony. She had come up there and given it to him. Then she kind of sneaked off and she said, now, My husband was killed in action and and I got the report that my baby was dead. But she said, I just said, I just got in on this. I just got in on these things. And she said, I just got the report this week that my baby's alive. But she said, that's, here's the big thing. This is so big to me. While I've been here, somebody gave me a Bible. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We don't realize how we've been blessed. Many years ago, how many of you have heard of Rick Renner? He's a Greek scholar and he's um, an apostle to the to Russia, lives in Moscow, has been there for over 25 years. And um, before that, he built his ministry, built the first building in Latvia, built to be a church in so many years 
So our ministry got together with Rick and his ministry and we provided Bibles in their language. Gloria and I went there to dedicate the facility. This is a people that had been free for 25 years out of the last 900. Everybody came through and, and, and took things away from them. And I had them stand up and hold their Bibles. They, they absolutely screamed. They shouted, this is my Bible. And one man, we just finished that, and this man shouted as loud as he can, could, and we will never be overrun again. We will be free because we have the word of the living God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hebrews chapter 13. I know you all know this, but we're going to put our eyes on it. Hebrews chapter 13. Oh, this book of Hebrews. Oh, spend your life in it. Hebrews 13. And read the seventh verse. Remember them that have the rule or, or that they, they're the ones that teach you, that have rule over you, who have, sp listen, who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow considering the end of their manner of life. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Jesus, the anointed one, is the same today. He's the same today as he ever was. He never changes. He never, ever changes. Hallelujah. And 10,000 years from now, if he changes, he'll just get better. <laughs> no, he'll be the same loving, good, wonderful, kind Jesus that he is today. The Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast study notes will help you dive deeper into these powerful word-based teachings. Get all five days of notes at one time. Use them during the week for your personal study time. Download them free at kcm.org notes. Create a special family devotional time to follow along with the notes as you watch the broadcast. Study the scriptures with your children and begin instilling God's word now. Use these notes to build your faith library and build up a heritage of faith. God has given us victory in the area of health and healing. He'll keep you safe from virus, infection, discomfort, and disease when you follow the instructions laid out in the Bible on how to get healed and stay that way. For over 50 years, Gloria Copeland has been passionately teaching people how to apply the principles of faith found in God's Word to take their healing. Get on the road to divine health with your healing prescription package. Listen and participate in Healing School with Gloria's six message audio series. Use the scriptures as your prescription medicine to stay healed with the RX Healing Brochure and discover the keys to living well and having a full healthy life with Gloria's mini book, Three Steps to the Good Life. There is sickness in the world, but as believers, we know that our weapon is not against flesh and blood and faith for healing will come as you keep filling your heart with the Word of God. Live symptom and fear free, confident in God's power to get healed and stay healed for a long, strong life. Request your healing prescription package free from Kenneth Copeland Ministries at kcm.org slash TV special or when you call 800-600-7395. Take God's healing prescription. Let the Word of God in these teaching resources help you receive your healing and stay well. See yourself living healthy and whole. Offer good for 60 days. Outside the U.S., shipping charges may apply. Contact your regional office for more information. All this week, Brother Copeland is teaching about God's will to heal you. Now, living a long time is good, 
but it's so much better when you live healed and you live whole, you live pain free and strong. Listen, you don't have to settle for having some tolerable life when God knows how to make your life worth living. His way is life more abundantly here on earth and even more so in heaven. Now making Jesus the Lord of your life is the beginning of life more abundantly. So if you've never been born again, then today is the day of your salvation. I want to just lead you in a prayer. Just say it out loud after me. Just say, Father in heaven, I come to you in Jesus' name. And I believe in my heart that you raised Jesus from the dead. I confess with my mouth, Jesus is my Lord. Take my life, Lord Jesus. Do something with it and fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Now listen, if you prayed that prayer, you are born again. And right now you have the God kind of life and the God kind of faith in you. And we want to help you understand more about that, more about who you are in Jesus, who Jesus is in you. And that's why Kenneth Copeland Ministries has put together some free resources called the Salvation Package. This package contains a book called He Did It All For You. And along with this book, we're going to send you just a couple of little brochures that are here to help you learn how to read, how to study your Bible, how to find out more about who you are in Jesus and who Jesus is in you. And the good news is, if you want this, all you have to do is let us know you want it and we'll send it to you for free. Just visit us at kcm.org. Let us know you want it. We'll get it to you. And then what do you do from here? You continue to grow spiritually. You do something every day that feeds your spirit because that's who you really are. And KCM.org is a great resource to help you develop your faith and to help you understand more about the Word of God. Of course, you can watch the BVOV broadcast. You can read the BVOV magazine. You can read the daily devotional. But whatever you do, keep the Word of God going into your eyes. Keep it going into your ears. Let it get down into your heart until it begins to come back out of your mouth in faith. Amen? Praise God. Now listen, we invite you to join us right back here on the broadcast tomorrow. You're going to learn about the favor and the goodness of God as Brother Copeland shares how to receive your healing from Jesus. These are powerful messages, powerful truths that will change your life forever. You don't want to miss it. Thanks so much for joining us today, everybody. We'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, remember, God loves you and we love you. And Jesus is Lord. God has a good plan for your life. If you receive Jesus as Lord and Savior today, Kenneth and Gloria Copeland have a gift for you. To request your salvation package free, go to kcm.org slash salvation. Discover who you are in Christ and how to live in victory. Continue to grow in your faith in God and live in the wisdom of His Word. 2021 is the year of the local church, a year of divine healing, divine health, divine prosperity, and divine recovery.